Hey guys, hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing really good. It's a beautiful day. Um, I wanted to take a minute really quickly and share with you guys a video that I just watched that was <laughs> very inspiring and very it just shows how great God is, and I wanted to share it, so hopefully um, it can inspire someone else. So it was, um, and I know a lot of you already know who Brian Head Welch is. To be honest, I didn't. I mean, I know I have seen him, but anyway, he was, he used to be in the band Corn. Um, but anyway, he has, he was telling his story um, on this video, and the video is called The Day He Died and Began Living for Christ. And just the title speaks volumes because so many times I have said and felt like I've, you know, you, you just have to die to your flesh to, to really allow God to come in and do what only God can do. Um, but anyway, so he also has, um, he has three books out, I believe. There may be more, but his first book is called Save Me From Myself. And I cannot wait to get this book and read it, y'all. He, he seems like such a gentle, kind person. And he's, just from what I saw, the, the few minutes, the video was only like 29 minutes. But he seemed funny and, and just really awesome um but he talks in the in the video about you know the life he led and uh growing up he had a normal life and he just was really into um heavy metal music and so that's what he started doing but he mentioned when he was in school he was bullied and he had this one friend that was always nice to him and he was at his friend's home one day and the friend's mom asked him if asked Brian if he knew who Jesus was and Brian said no and she just simply you know took a few minutes to tell Brian who Jesus was and he said that was it he went on about his life never really thought about it again um and he said one night when he was 12 years old, he was watching a horror movie because he was very much into horror movies. And he said he just um, had this overwhelming feeling that it was wrong. And he turned it off and he went into his dad's bathroom and knelt down and asked Jesus to come into his life. And he said, uh, you know, I didn't feel anything really special or miraculous and... Um, and you know, that's very important for people to know is that you don't, you don't always feel any different. You don't always feel um, like anything really happened, but, but something did happen, whether you feel it or not. But anyway, he goes on to say um, how that was it. You know, he went on and I'm not real sure how many years later it was that he began living for Christ and quit the band. And um, that's why I want to get his book because I think it's going to be really good. And uh, he talks about how he's told his story hundreds of times. And every time he tells it, he said it just feels fresh and exciting still. And, you know, that's how God is. Every day is exciting and, and um, mysterious and joyful and peaceful and uh, there will be still problems there we will have you know we're not just because we follow Christ doesn't mean we're free of 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 pr the problems that life brings but what we do have is knowing that no matter what it brings God God is always there with us and um it's just, the, the 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 most inspiring part of this video that I just watched is the friend's mom 
planted a seed in Brian that day when she told him about Jesus. And if she had not have taken the, the time to do that, or if she would have thought, he's not going to listen to me, he doesn't care. Uh, I just wonder, you know, where would Brian be now? Would Brian be uh, bringing all kinds of people around the world to know Christ because of the platform he's on? He, you know, was into drugs and sex, and he said his life was very dark. And I don't know what all that details, you know, um, but look at the people he could help that, that I couldn't. I mean, I'm just a stay at home mom who wants to get on here and talk about God and talk about what God has done for me. Because like I've always said, we all have a different story to tell and his story will be able to reach more people, first of all, but, but different people, just as my story is going to reach different people than his. And so, y'all, that's why I am so big on allowing God to use you to tell your story, tell what you've been through, and tell about the struggles that you still have. Because I still struggle with some of the things that I struggled with most of my life, but I, I just know it's better and it's nothing like it was. And I know that God is still working in my heart and in, in my, in my life to change me and make me who he wants me to be. Because the way I see it now, if I'm not living for Christ, I'm really not living. And I just want everybody else to be as in love with Jesus as I am. And y'all, he talks about, he talks about that. I mean, to hear a grown man with these big, long corn roll. Oh, and that's another thing. He prayed. He said the only prayer he ever prayed was, Lord, please don't let me go bald. And he has more hair right now than most, most men. So it's, it was, uh, it's just really good. And I just encourage you all to go, to go search it and find him and watch that video. And thank you guys for taking a minute to listen. I know a lot of times I, I get very excited and uh, I just want everybody to know that God is good and he's real and he will, he will help anyone who lets him. So thanks guys and I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.